Today we're going to be making something really fun that I've never thought of and I've never heard of until just recently. Where have I been? I'm gonna make some homemade pretzels out of these canned biscuits. Now I generally just make homemade pretzels with a homemade pretzel dough. It takes some time from making the dough, letting it rise and then cutting it and you have to boil it in some baking soda water. It's just a lot of steps and to roll out the pretzels and put them in, but they're so delicious and wonderful. But I saw this recently that you could use it with canned biscuits. Duh, that would make sense. So let's give it a try together and see how they turn out. So we are going to cut these biscuits in half and then we're going to cut each half into thirds. All we have to do is wait for the water on the stove to come up to a, a simmer, almost boil, not quite a full boil. And then we're going to add some baking soda to the top. Now the reason you wanted that is what is going to give you that famous pretzel texture and pretzel taste. And it really does work and it is good, but we'll see how it works with these biscuits. Now, if you didn't So you do want to get a baking sheet with either parchment paper or I'm just going to use this silk pack here. Um, and you want it to be a little oiled because they do stick. And if you do it to a regular just pan without anything, they will stick. They will. I've done that before with other puzzles that I made. So we'll have this ready and this water is almost ready to go to. So this is perfect. It's not quite a boil. Now it's starting to turn to a boil. Whoop. So we want to put in about a quarter of a cup of baking soda. And you want to do this really slowly because it will kind of bubble up. <laughs> and that's it. You might want to adjust, adjust your um, temperature a little bit. <clears throat> and I'll just let that kind of come down a little bit. I have an electric stove, so it takes a few minutes. And then you just want to drop in, or you can put it on your thing and put it in, you know, a few at a time. And you want to put these in for about 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. Spend 20 seconds. So you're basically getting that solution on to your thing. And I see that the flaky ones are starting to kind of come apart. So maybe buttermilk would be definitely better. So and now we just want to put these on our tray and and then we will do all of these at once and then we'll come back to the next step now that we have them all out you want to make sure they're not touching now if you want to put a separate tray go for it that's completely fine because they will stick together <laughs> next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one egg we're going to beat it up with a little bit of water a couple teaspoons of water. And then we're gonna brush all these with an egg wash and we're gonna sprinkle on some coarse salt. Let's see that, it's coarse. It's pretzel salt. You can buy that right at the store. Or sometimes when I buy pretzels, I just save that extra pack of salt because we don't usually use it all. Most of the time I don't even put salt on those ones anyway. I think I got them all. Now we're just gonna sprinkle the salt on here and just kind of give it a light sprinkle it's to your taste of course you don't have to sprinkle them at all but they are good with a little bit of salt get that in there and then we want to bake these at 375 about 15 20 minutes depending on your oven just keep an eye on them so we'll put them in for about the 15 mark and then we'll see how it goes <laughs> So now while those are baking, I'm gonna make a quick, simple little cheese sauce that you can dip your pretzels in. We need about two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay. Our butter is nice and melted. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. And we're gonna mix that in really good because what we're making is a roux. 
So you want to let's turn this down a little bit. So we want to get this really mixed in. You want to cook that flour taste out. So you want to cook this for about a minute or so to get it nice and golden. Well, maybe not really. Now we want to slowly add our milk and we're going to keep stirring. I'm going to actually switch to a whisk because it's a little easier. So just kind of slowly add that. And you're making a roux. You're making like a gravy is all you're making. But we're going to add delicious cheese to it. It'll be thick and delicious. There we go. And we're just going to kind of mix that in to get all that flour and butter mixture combined. And there we go. Cheese. So we're going to add two cups total. And we're going to add it slowly because it will kind of get clumpy if you don't. So now I have shredded this cheese from a block. You don't really want to use pre-shredded cheese because it has that coating. So you just want to mix this. I'm going to actually switch to my spoon. And you just want to slowly melt this cheese until it all becomes a rich. A rich, delicious, and smooth cheese sauce. So here it is. It's starting to come together. It's about half the cheese that I put in there. You want to do it slow. You do not want to bring it to a boil because remember, milk curdles if you bring it too, too fast. Okay, you just want to keep stirring because you want it really smooth. Here we go. I think it gets a little hot, so I'm going to move mine off. <laughs> so there we go, a cheese sauce to go with our pretzels. So I'll show you how to quick make honey mustard. All you do is just take about tablespoon of honey about equal parts to about a tablespoon of mustard and you just mix it together honey mustard equal parts of honey equal parts of mustard and you can serve that alongside with your pretzels so here they are right out of the oven and they look really good now i'm gonna let them cool a little bit because they're pretty warm and then we'll plate them up so I have our cheese sauce. I just put it in a little bowl and then our honey mustard. So all I'm going to do is put a few here on my plate or let's just do a couple. All right, so we got them on our plate and I'm gonna put just a little, we'll just dump some on here. A little cheese sauce. I don't want too much because I had some milk earlier. And then a little bit, just put a little honey mustard. I know these will be good because I've had them before and I've made this before. So here we go. Let's give them a try. Ooh, see? They're perfect. They smell like pretzels. I'm going to try the cheese sauce. Mmm. That, that's really good. Now, that is not the cheese sauce that comes in the jar. If you just want to make that cheese sauce, warm it up. You know, the kind that has the whiz in it, <laughs> do that one. Cause that one would be more of a taste that maybe your friends or family might know or recognize, especially if they eat pretzels, cause this is more of a homemade one, but it's still really good. I used ingredients that I had in my house. Didn't go to the grocery store. So now let's try it with the honey mustard. These are really good. Mmm. Mmm. I think I like the honey mustard the best, but people like cheese sauce. Mm, those are really good. Now those taste so good that I don't even feel like I have to make homemade dough to make homemade pretzel bites anymore. <laughs> but if you want the shaped pretzels and stuff, then you probably need to make the homemade dough. And if you're interested in that recipe, I can find it and I can um, give it to you. Or if you want to see it, I can make it too. But here we go. Made out of canned biscuit dough. Who would have thought, right? So I hope you have a really good day and a good week. And I will see you in my next video with something else wonderful to make. So we'll see you then. Have a great day.